This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to do the quiz Murder Mystery from the conditional section of the HTML developer track for the Udacity Grow with Google Challenge. And let's get started. So basically what this is, let's go back, let's go down to the code here. So here is what they give us to start with. Um, they give us a couple variables, uh, if else statement and a console log. So what we have to do is uh, set the value of weapon based on the room, set the value of solve to true if the value of the room matches the suspect's room, and afterwards print out the following to the console. So what I've done is I've gone into Visual Studio Code and I've created a JavaScript file here just for me to use. I'm going to copy all this. Let's paste that over here. All right. So now it looks all pretty. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the console log statement. So what we need here is delete that. So, so first blank is going to be the suspect. So we're going to put suspect since we have a variable for that, and then let's use double quotes. Quote, and then space, did it in the space, plus, and then the next thing is going to be the room. So we have a room variable, plus, with the, so make sure you put a space in there, with the space, and a plus again. And then the last part is the weapon. So we have a weapon variable there that we get to use. Weapon and space plus, and don't forget the exclamation point. All right, I'm gonna do one thing real quick. So I just enabled word wrapping so we can see it, everything without having to scroll left or right. Okay, so we got this part done, or this part rather, the message. So the message should be good to go. Next, let's set the weapon. So setting the weapon means that we are going to make weapon equals, so remember single equal sign assigns the value, and then we're going to put the, the weapon there. So since we are repeating Let's just do this and then let's figure out what weapons we need. So weapon based on the room. So this is where our if statement is gonna come in also. So let's set that up. Remove all those comments. So if room oops room triple equals and then the first room we're going to do is ballroom. Ballroom room and then the weapon is going to be poison poison all right first one's done and let's go ahead and copy this paste that in all right next one is going to be the gallery the room is the gallery okay and the weapon is trophy Next one is billiards room. Billiards room and it's going to be pull stick. And then the last one, I'm not sure why they gave us an else to start with, but because we're not actually going to be, if we use the else, we're just going to default to that and we're not actually checking to make sure that the room matches. So I'm going to fix that. Let's copy this again. Room equals. And then the last one is dining room. All right, with the knife. So the weapon is knife. Oops. All right, so when you're copying and pasting, make sure that you don't have any extra 
spaces in the front or in the back or your string is going to be wrong when it when it does the console log all right so we have sets value of rep weapon based on the room okay we we do that okay and then the next thing we need to do is set value of solve to true if the room matches the suspect's room so let's do that first so right now solved equals false so solved equals true and since this is going to be the same for each one let's just go ahead and do that all right and the last part is room matches the suspect's room so since we have room already we just need to add a second thing inside of the if statement that we're checking for so we use the double ands uh, double ampersand main and so let's make sure we have all this lined up so they didn't do this in the same order we did so it's going to be a little spot checking oops suspect equals and then just to make this easy i'm gonna go ahead and do that also and then copy this paste it in all other all, all four of them all right so first one is ballroom so ballroom is mr kalehoff mr kalehoff all right next one is gallery is Miss Van Cleve. And next one is Billiards Room. And this is Spar. And the last one is Dining Room. So Mr. Parks. Okay. So that is everything that we were supposed to do, uh, but we need to test it. So let us set up some tests here before we submit, just to make sure everything's working fine. So let's go down to here. I'm going to delete. Oh, don't want to delete. Delete all that. I'm going to grab this paste that in all right so right now what we have set is that mr parks is the suspect and dining room is the room so let's take a look here so right now mr parks and dining room so it should say uh, mr parks did it in the dining room with the knife so let's do a test run Mr. Parks did it in the dining room with a knife. Perfect. All right. Like I said, we need to test this. So let's go ahead and grab Mr. Kalov. And ballroom. Test. Okay. Looks good. And Miss Van Cleve. And remember, these are called... Uh, positive tests or happy path so all we're doing is making sure that the good scenario is working uh, we haven't coded in actually a negative scenario so I will show you what happens then <coughs> all right. so, um, okay so all four of our if conditions passed and printed the correct message so what happens if we do not have a match so both room and suspect have to match in order for this um, this to be set to true and for this to print out so i'm going to make it so that mrs spar in ballroom so mrs spar is supposed to be with the billiards room so let's see what happens so no output so, 
So like I said, we don't have an error condition built in, but that's actually what we wanted to happen in this case. So we only have happy path, so we know all the happy path work, and that when it doesn't match, that we don't print anything, which is actually what we wanted in this uh, scenario. So let's go ahead and submit, make sure we got it right. Oh, something went wrong. Oh, I know why. If the murder weapon happened in the ballroom, then the weapon should be the... If the murder weapon happened in the ballroom, then the weapon should be the... Let's see. Let me undo that. Test run. Submit. That's what it was. So make sure if you're testing the happy and negative paths that you fix your uh, data so that it goes through the happy path and then you will pass this test. All right. Uh, I will be making videos for the other lessons or, or quizzes rather, and I will post those as soon as I can. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And until next time.